Hey guys, Coach Alex here with Physique Development and I popped up a question box in my Instagram uh, this past week and I received a question asking about deloads. When to incorporate them, how to incorporate them, when uh, you know to know to incorporate them I suppose. And the, the main thing that you wanna look at with deloads is assessing your biofeedback. And so with biofeedback, we have a lot of factors to look at. Uh, are you having high inflammation? Are you retaining water? Are you having poor sleep? High stress within uh, the workspace? or within your personal life? Um, is your sleep lacking? Are you having poor digestion? A lot of these factors to, to look at, uh, if, if all of these things are declining and you're having trouble with them, this is probably a, a great time for you to implement a deload. I, I think that you can have them in your training on a consistent basis if you prefer, but I think that paying attention to your biofeedback and, and understanding and listening to your body is going to be more beneficial for you. So when you do analyze this and you see that the biofeedback is poor, how you want to implement the deload is going to be decreasing the volume. You can decrease the volume, you can decrease the frequency in which you're training. How I like to approach it with physique development clients is decreasing the volume per session, as well as decreasing the frequency within training sessions. So maybe they're training five days a week and I bump it down to three or four. If they're training, let's say um, the, the, the sets that they are completing per exercise are four, maybe I drop that down to two and allow them to still train at an RPE of, of seven to eight maybe, um, or even decrease the RPE goal. If the athlete struggles with uh, declining in intensity, maybe we just take the full week off because it's going to be more advantageous for them to prioritize rest uh, than them go in and become frustrated by not being able to train as hard as they want. So decreasing volume and, and frequency within resistance training, prioritizing sleep, maybe bumping up calorically uh, to maintenance level and allowing them to, to really rest and recover um, to uh, benefit from the deload and, and see the gains that they want to uh, following that. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to work with a physique development coach one-on-one, -on -one, apply at physiquedevelopment.com.